G'day reefers, welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. We're here today at Gallery Aquatica and we're going to run you through how to acclimate fish. Acclimating your fish can be really easy if you've got all the right gear. The best tool for this is to use a drip acclimator with a dripper, a tap and a hook. We also recommend to use something like a thermometer or a salt checker or a pH checker, a bucket, and in this case, we're also going to need a net. Now, the reason we acclimate fish is namely to minimize the amount of stress endured on the animal going from water A to water B. This is going to allow the fish to slowly get used to a potential change in salt, pH, temperature, amongst other parameters, which in the end point will allow for a stress-free, happy, healthy result. So we've got our drip acclimator, our thermometer, but one thing we don't have is our fish. The reason we're catching the fish today is to take them over to the prop room because we've got a little bit of an algae outbreak. So I thought what better opportunity than to grab them and go and just run through the basics of how to acclimate this fish perfectly. So let's catch some fish. The first thing to do when you're acclimating some fish is to account for temperature changes. Now we do this by placing the fish bag in the water we're going to pop it into and you have to wait until you can feel that this temperature matches the temperature of the new water. This could take five minutes, it could take 20 minutes. It completely depends on the duration of time that is lapsed between water A and water B. So it's really important to not put the original water in your fish system. This could be because the shop is using copper or a, an importer is using a treatment within the water or simply because the transit water has become high in ammonia or has a very low pH from the fish respiring. So this is another reason why it's just so important to acclimate your fish and livestock slowly. So the first thing we're going to do is just cut the bags and gently pour the original water and the fish into the buckets. This way you can also observe the fish and just make sure that they're okay. So we've got them in here, you can see them. Lovely. And so we're using a thermometer to tell us if we're ready or not. We've got the original temperature at 25. So you could use pH as an indicator here as well, or even specific gravity. So we're just gonna put that probe in the bucket. And now the fun part, time to set up the drip acclimator. So this Gallery Aquatica acclimator has a really cool feature where you can actually move the loop around according to how thick the glass rim is on your aquarium. 
can be really good if you end up with a really thick band of glass or not. So you start the drip acclimator off here and you can see here the drip is actually got a full stream and that's where this tap comes into play. So you turn the tap down until you, the drip is, yeah, just a bit slower like that. And some people like to do a couple of drops per second. Personally, just knowing the quality of water in our quarantine tank compared to the shop, I'm not too fussed as to doing it too slowly. Also, I don't feel that these fish are incredibly sensitive as some species can be, but about two drops per second is a good gauge of where to stop. Now, other fish that will require slower acclimation are things like tangs, maybe possibly because they've got less layers of scale protection. Um, also, starfish, urchins, anything from the phylum Echinodermata, if you've spent a lot of money on shrimp. These kinds of animals tend to cost more, and so for that, people are also a little bit more cautious when it comes to adding them into your aquarium. And so now we've got the dripper, we've got our thermometer, and now we just have to wait. along the process of acclimation is that towards the end you may want to speed it up. A reason for this could be that your fish are panting at the surface or they have been in transit for a really long time and you're worried about the, their behavior um, and so it's important to get them into the water a little faster. Um, given we've only traveled a very short distance this is not the case here today but just thought I'd cover that. So that's where you would use this tap to speed up the flow and increase how much water is going into the bucket. Down here with our acclimation, we've got the same temperature, no doubt the same specific gravity between the bucket and the second set of water. So I'm just, all that's left to do is gently net the fish and gently place them into the tank. Using a soft net can also reduce the stress on the fish. I'm not a real big advocate of using your hands because the pH of our hands is acidic in comparison to marine water. And there you have it. Three fish safely acclimated from water A to water B. So thanks for joining us on today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. I hope we've been able to help you with some tips and tricks with acclimating your fish and livestock. I'm Anya and happy reaving.